everyone. Welcome to MC Lodge for another week. Uh, absolute freezing cold week this week. It's been wet and windy and terrible, so it's uh, been pretty tough getting out of bed, but um, a couple of the better horses are in work, so it makes it all worthwhile. Um, I only had the run, one runner through the week, and uh, that was uh, Merchant, and uh, the old boy stepped out and had his first start, and geez, we were very, very proud of him. He hung on till uh, the last five metres or so, and he was in front all the way. But uh, he ran a very gallant second, and hopefully uh, he pulls up well from it and uh, onwards and upwards with him and uh, no doubt on the way he raced yesterday um, there's a fair bit of improvement in him and uh, he'll um, win a couple of races for us in the not too distant future. Supreme Warrior getting home, Merchant, Big Buddy's diving at him on the post and Big Buddy got up and wanted to head to Merchant, a big uh, run at his first start for ages, hanging on for seconds. Uh, runners this week. Uh, tomorrow we're going to run a filly um, called Miss Satine. Um, she's come down from Canberra from uh, Matthew Dale and uh, she uh, supposedly goes really well on the synthetic. Uh, she's had a, tr had a trial for us and I thought she trialled fair and um, she's uh, gallops uh, through the week have been okay so she's ready to step out into a maiden. Uh, drawn a beautiful gate in six and uh, she should be able to box seat from there. Um, other runner will be a first starter called Spherical. He's uh, an Costa de Lago horse. He's out of a very good mare. He's a half sister to an Oaks winner. So um, we expect him to get over a fair bit of ground. Uh, he's going to have his first start on a real bottom, bottomless heavy track at Warrnambool on Sunday. So um, uh, we'll be really interested to see how he goes. We won't be riding him too handy. Um, we want to teach this horse to stay and get over a big trip. So uh, I would say he'll position probably two thirds of the way back through him and be very good late. But a uh, couple of his trials he's had have been okay. And uh, the best part of his trials have been the last part of his trials. So um, uh, it'll be really interesting to see. A couple of great local Geelong people own him. So i um, really keen to see how he goes on Sunday. Here's an interesting filly that just joined the stable, a three-year-old filly called Myrtle Turtle, come over from Adelaide. Um, she stakes place as a two-year-old, uh, running uh, placing in the size produce. Um, the owners decided to give her a um, little bit of a change of environment. You can see here she loves being out in the paddock. Uh, worked her up the hill here the first morning this morning, pretty keen and uh, pretty happy with herself. So really interesting to see how we go and uh, get her to the races in probably a month's time or so. Albeit only very small time, um, we're just dabbling a little bit of breeding here, a couple of weanlings running around the paddock and uh, a couple of mares heavily in foal. One here that you might be in know of uh, a little bit of interest of is a mare called They Call Me Bolt. It's a really fast horse that we trained and uh, a lot of local owners uh, here in Geelong owned her and um, she's gone. Uh, she's in foal to Mossman who actually sired the Golden Slipper winner this year. So high expectations of the foal but um, uh, really looking forward to uh, when she gets to the races. We've had an official complaint from Pete Sanders, co-founder of Emsley Lodge and owner of Adapt Australia. How hard can it be, he reckons? He, he said we've had eight tipsters, two winners, not good enough. He said he's given one tip, Lord Emsley won and paid 10 to 1. With all the racing all over Australia, surely we can tip one winner for the week. Here's Pete to have his crack this week. Hello everyone. Thanks for a nice uh, intro, Jamie. That's really putting the pressure on. I like a horse at Flemington on Saturday, race five, number four, Aratus. I think that'll be very good value. And a real smoky for the uh, for the day. Our uh, stable apprentice, Josh Cartwright's riding a horse in race three called Pharrell. And I think it's one to follow, good value. And I think odds in excess of about 50 to one. So good luck, good punning, and... Uh, Hope I get to uh, the opportunity of coming back and uh, giving you another tip. That's it for another week at Emsley Lodge. Uh, don't be afraid to show our video to any of your friends and see what the stable's on about or go onto our website and uh, check out our horses available. There's a couple of horses there and uh, priced range for everyone. If you want to just dabble into a small share in a horse or take a significant share in a, in a high quality horse, there's plenty there to look at. And uh, a couple of runners this week having their first start for us. So plenty happening in and around the joint. Until next week, see you later.